This is just in from Team 10. Some taxpayers want a divorce from their school district, and they want a $90 million settlement. Team 10 investigator Mitch Flocker talked to the leaders in this divorce movement. They say they paid extra taxes for over a decade for nothing. $90 million was supposed to build a high school in this empty valley. Now Alpine residents want that $90 million back to build the high school themselves. It's one of the few places you can build a brand new school. Al Haven was the superintendent of Alpine's elementary school district. We need to do something for our kids. He's just one resident leading a movement to leave the Grossmont Union High School District, a district that promised a new high school if voters passed two bond measures, which they did. Were you lied to? Well, of course we were misled. I call it bait and switch. Sal Casamasia's daughter was in elementary school when he got involved. Is there any chance that your daughter would attend high school in Alpine? There's, there's no possibility of that. For 12 years, voters like Sal and Al have approved two bond measures worth hundreds of millions of dollars. This is a picture of what was promised. This is a look at what has been delivered. It's very unfortunate that the economics and the demographics of the district are moving in the opposite direction from what we'd all like them to move. Grossmont's deputy superintendent blamed falling home prices. He says there aren't enough students to give Alpine its own high school. Would you have voted for those bond measures knowing that there would be no high school in this valley? Uh, absolutely not. Chris Laurie has two kids in the district. Neither will ever attend high school in Alpine. He moved here, relocated his business, in part because he was promised a local high school. This really is not even me fighting for my children any longer. This is fighting for the long-term viability of, of the school district and this community. Together, residents are asking the San Diego County Board of Education to let them form their own high school district. They want to end their children's hour-long commute, and they want their taxes to go to the new school they say they were promised. We came to a deal, an agreement, a binding commitment. Now, right now, the first of two hearings on this is underway. The Alpine Group says it wants roughly $90 million, 20 for the land that the district already bought, and $70 million to help build the new high school. Of course, the district plans to fight this effort. So how is the district going to fight this? Well, they have the, they have the argument about enrollment, and also the Grossmont Union Board claims a new uh, district would further isolate an already segregated population. The Alpine Group calls that ridiculous. Ultimately, this is going to go to the state up in Sacramento. Yeah, much more to come, that yeah. we know. All right.